Hey Guardians, I just want to let everyone know that I do have both a Twitch and a Twitter, and I'm very active on both. Feel free to come give me a follow on both, links in the description. Guys, I've long been something of an auto-rifle enthusiast in Destiny. Long before I ever touched a hand cannon, I was a stubborn auto-rifle user, pretty much from Destiny 1 all the way up to around the time of Black Armory, much to my detriment often. But even though I usually main hand cannons these days, I still love auto rifles. They're my second most used primary in PvP, and I use them frequently in PvE as well. Fast forward to Season of the Wish, and we have a lot of strong auto rifles. The main problem being that autos are still one of the weaker choices for PvP. They've gotten better to be sure. I would say that 450s are in the best overall spot, with 720s in second, then 600s, then 360s. So while Necrochasm is old news, I wanted to take some time to talk about it because I've really actually grown to love this gun. So last season, a Destiny 1 classic returned to us with the Crota's End Raid. Necrochasm is a kinetic 720 RPM auto rifle, and just to be absolutely clear, no, it is not meta. It's not even particularly competitive, nor is it the best in its archetype. That spot should really go to Quicksilver Storm, at least in PvP. Necro can be acquired from the Akrota's End quest in one of the most annoying slogs of an exotic quest you'll ever get. Now, Destiny 2's Necrochasm is very different from Destiny 1's. Destiny 1 Necrochasm had a base fire rate of 900 rounds per minute. Necro's base rate of fire is 720 in D2. In D1, Necro also had three different sites to choose from, as well as your choice between single point sling, which allowed you to swap weapons faster and move faster while aiming down your sights. I wish it still had this as well as flared magwell for faster reloads and fitted stock, which can increase your weapon stability. It also had Zen Moment, and given that Zen Moment is now a much better perk in Destiny 2, I genuinely wish it still had Zen Moment. But Necrochasm is very fun, and it does offer some utility. Necro's exotic perks are Cursebringer, Precision Final Blows trigger a Curse Thrall explosion, and kills from the explosion refill the magazine, and Desperation, which is essentially just Desperado. Get a Precision Final Blow or a kill with the explosion, and it will proc Desperation, which will drastically increase your fire rate as well as your aim assist. Outside of that, you have Arrowhead Break, Ricochet Rounds, and Handlate Stock. Necro does also have a Catalyst, but it only adds Outlaw, so you can pretty well ignore this as it already has a very good reload speed at base. Taking a look at Necro's stats, you have 39 range, and this is the weapon's biggest weakness. It has 94 stability and 85 recoil direction, so it's very controllable. It has very high aim assist at 85, and good handling at 65. Good overall stats, but that range stat really, really hurts this thing. Necrochasm only has an effective range of 25 meters. 25 meters! In an SMG meta, this thing struggles hard. Unending Tempest can reach 22 meters. Immortal can also reach up to 22 meters if it's adept with an adept range mod. An adept Shayuras with a range mod can reach 23 and a half meters, and the Ikelos can reach 21 meters. This thing is just barely, barely out of SMG range, and a Titan with PKs won't have any trouble closing only 2 to 4 meters. Plus, Titans almost all run very high resilience, and if they're 8 resil or higher, you have to land 10 crits to get the most ideal TTK, which is 0.75 seconds. This is Necro's biggest weakness. It has no real range to it. The advantage it has is Necro is basically a laser beam and has very high aim assist, and when Desperation is procced, it feels very sticky. But with SMGs where they are, I would avoid it completely in any 3v3 mode. You couldn't pay me to take this thing into Trials or Comp. But it is a very fun sixes gun. Desperation will rip people apart, and the explosion on this thing is actually insanely potent, which means it can be a fun gun to just slay out with and six but that's about where the good ends. It's fun and not much else. Now, that's not to say I dislike the weapon. Like I said, it's very fun and very satisfying to use, especially when you get explosion kills. But there isn't much else to say about it. Until SMGs get reined in as a whole, these rapid-fire auto rifles have extremely limited usefulness. Now, in PvE, Necrochasm is actually pretty decent. Between Desperation and the Cursed Thrall explosions, it's a very strong ad-clear weapon. 
And of course, like Thorn and Osteostriga, it works with Necrotic Grips and also with Strand Suspend builds, though admittedly, I feel like Thorn is still the better choice for that, and with the Thrall Explosion, often the Suspends from Necrotics and Weaver's Trance aren't even that necessary. But it is still very fun. You can clear out huge packs of adds with a single kill just due to the explosions. While this is great in most PvE content, I would still be hesitant to take it into endgame content such as Master Raids or Grandmaster Nightfalls. There are weapons that just offer more overall utility, but I can't argue that in general PvE this is very fun and a very effective weapon, especially in activities with high add density. Overall, Necrochasm is an okay gun. Is it really, and I mean truly, worth the slog of a grind that's required to get it? It depends. Like I said, it's very fun, but somewhat lacking in effectiveness, especially in PvP. This isn't entirely Necro's fault either. SMGs have too much range, not enough recoil, and of course, target lock. Couple that with the fact that Necro offers very little forgiveness, requiring 10 crits on anyone above 8 resilience, and it's definitely a tough sell. The main upside to this gun is just how fast desperation rips people apart, and of course when you get those explosions, that can get you that oh-so-satisfying multi-kill. The only other real complaint I have about Necro is the sights. They're rather obstructive, and due to the awful lighting on certain maps coupled with the color of Necro's reticle, sometimes you'll just lose your reticle outright. It's definitely worth picking up the ornament, which is available this week for Bright Dust, as it changes the color of the sights and makes the model a little less obstructive. In PvE, I just wish it did a little more damage per bullet, but outside of that, it's a great ad clear gun, it just has some stiff competition, especially this season for PvE. I probably wouldn't make Necro too much of a priority. The Crota's End Raid does have some incredible weapons in it, so if anything, just do your normal Crota runs for your red borders and you'll get Necro eventually regardless. That's all for me today, Guardians. Shorter video, but there wasn't a whole lot to say on this weapon. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit that like button, leave me a comment with your thoughts on Necro. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon, as that is the best way to support the channel. For now, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, Guardians.